Hey everybody, and welcome to Pick My Solar Live. I am Andrew Bear, along with Gordon Algermesson. Hi everyone. Be walking you through some solar news today. Uh, as always, ask us anything, write a comment, and we'll get back to you next time. So, to start us off, we have um, a new thing we're going to start introducing, just a couple little what's new in solar comments. So in this first one, we have Montgomery County, Maryland, which is just outside of D.C. They're considering a solar mandate on all their new single-family homes, kind of like uh, California is doing with their solar mandate, which starts in 2020. Um, Montgomery County is considering doing the same thing. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you know, we're seeing California, uh, as it has on a lot of other climate issues, leading the way with new building codes and, and standards, which are really going to drive electrification, you know, uh, for the whole building sector. You know, yeah. It's, it's uh, essential to hit our uh, carbon neutral goals uh, for, for the state and for the country. Yeah, absolutely. Maryland's jumping on board. And then in New York, Safari Energy um, completed a 1.1 megawatt solar project in New York. So that's a that's a pretty large project, yeah. um, and it's you know it, it's great to see. New York is yeah, such absolutely. a booming solar market, and um, especially for community solar as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these things are like coming online every day. It's like fun to read about them. Like you don't normally think about it, but they are coming online. And then another thing that's um, kind of up in the air right now is the solar ITC. So right now there's a 30% tax credit if you go solar, which is scheduled to step down at the start of next year. Um, but what Congress could do is, is, and what they're considering is a 10 year extension. And so that's uh, stepping down to 26%? 26%, yeah. Okay. So the 10 year extension would uh, increase the, you know, the length of the Solar ITC for the next 10 years, which the Solar Ener Energy Industry Association says would generate an extra, what is that, about 80 gigawatts? 82 gigawatts, yeah. Yeah, of solar energy through 2030. That's pretty substantial. Yeah, what, what is that as a percentage? That's like a quarter of the... The total capacity, yeah. yeah. So uh, definitely would be something, you know, as, as solar industry people, definitely would be something that would be great for the industry, for sure. Definitely essential for hitting our carbon neutrality targets as well. Yeah, for sure, that's a good point. So yeah, that's a couple quick hits in solar news. And then our deep dive is on the Hanwha Q-Cell factory. So Hanwha opened up a 1.7 gigawatt factory in Georgia, which is um, one of the biggest factories in the world. Um, it's certainly the biggest one in the United States, right? Yes, yeah. I think they go into that. Yeah, so they, the Q-Cells, along with a couple others, an LG, a Jinko, and then a First Solar, are some of the new solar manufacturing facilities that have come online or are coming online soon to come in the U.S. So we're seeing the effects of the, the tax credit moving manufacturing back to the U.S.? Yeah, for sure, yeah. And so, yeah, so as you mentioned, this is the largest solar facility in the Western Hemisphere. Oh, wow. Going to be located in Georgia. Um, they just started adding uh, a bunch of new workers there, so Georgia County is definitely appreciating that. Um, That's great. Yeah, for sure. And um, the CEO of Hanwha indicated that, um, that their company is dedicated to increasing solar manufacturing in America. And so what they're showing here with the yeah. giant facility. And if I'm not mistaken, um, Han was our number one selling brand, solar yeah. panel brand on the marketplace? Yeah, there, there are a few that are right at the top. Um, two or three brands are, are right at the top, and Han was one of them, along with LG as well. So That's great. Maybe we'll start to see some even more competitive pricing uh, yeah, with the, the rollout of this factory. Yeah. That's great. And then, so this factory will be producing, like it says, largest in the Western Hemisphere, 12,000 solar panels produced every day wow. by the end of the year. And just to give anyone like a ballpark of what that means, like a standard house might have around 20 solar panels. So wow. this is producing That's substantial. a ton. Yeah, yeah. And that facility in New York even was 
somewhere around 2,500 panels, if I remember correctly, or 3,000, the one that we okay. mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 the, the giant um, oh, the solar oh, plant. Yeah, 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 the, the one, I was, the Safari Energy one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So that one was 2,500 or 3,000 total panels. So this could do four of those a day. That's which incredible. Which is pretty impressive, wow. yeah. So, and then what's next for them is they are anticipating building a giant 102 megawatt solar farm. So that's 100 times bigger than the one we just talked about at the beginning um, in Georgia, a, a solar farm to power a Facebook data center. So those take up a ton of energy. It's kind of one of those random things you don't really think about. Um, but data centers take up a ton of energy, and so Facebook's looking to power one of theirs with a solar farm. Yeah, I think it's one of the fastest growing energy consumer segment market segments uh, in the world is data centers. So it's great to see um, Facebook taking steps to power them with renewables. It's yeah, awesome. Absolutely. And so that's the news from Pick My Solar. Um, as always, come to us for uh, competing quotes on a solar project you're considering, and. Um, through the end of the year, we have a referral bonus. If you re refer your friends, you and the friend who goes solar can get five ninety nine with us. So That's awesome. Take advantage of that. Refer your friends. Until next week. See ya. Thanks, everyone.